Hi everyone and welcome back to Best Text. Today in this video, I am going to do a review of one of the best ROMs available for Redmi Note 3 which is Viper OS. So let's get started. So if you are a new person visiting our channel, then make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe button and also enable notification for our videos by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Welcome back friends. Uh, this ROM is based on Android Nougat which is uh, Android 7.1.2 and as you can see ROM is pretty smooth and fluid the saturation colors are also good talking about the features the ROM support theming you can install different themes from Play Store and customize it as per your requirement regarding customizations this ROM do offers a lot of customizations maybe not as much as what Aura ROM offers but this is enough for a daily use uh, regarding battery life you can see I have got more than 5 hours screen on time with 25% uh, around 25% battery left which means uh, you will be getting around 6 to 7 hours battery backup with this ROM talking about the camera the time taken to start the camera application is little bit high but uh, the camera quality is good uh, you can see I have not faced any camera crash issues in this room the multitask and switching between different application is fast except the camera app and uh, regarding other features I have installed Dolby Atmos which doesn't come pre-installed with this ROM I will make another video how to install Dolby Atmos on any Android device okay uh, next thing is Cortana this Cortana is available on Play Store this ROM do support fast charging which means uh, charging time uh, to charge this phone is less talking about the stability this ROM is pretty stable and I am using this ROM since last week uh, and I haven't faced any major bugs except the, uh, a minor bug which is when you play uh, music over headphone and uh, try to take a screenshot then after taking the screenshot the sound comes from both uh, headphone and the device speaker this is a known issue and hopefully it will be fixed by next update and regarding the kernel i am using agni kernel which is available on xda i will put link to the kernel as well as the rom in the description box below you can install it from there it is not necessary to flash a custom kernel the store kernel of this rom is good but with the custom kernel you can get a little more battery backup so my final conclusion is that uh, this rom is good and can be used as a daily driver uh, thanks for watching guys subscribe to the channel for more videos like this if you have any questions or doubts or any uh, roms which you want us to review then uh, don't forget to mention those in the comment section below we always like to hear from you guys see you soon